Hey guys, welcome in. And the gym that none of us expected is here. Well, there's calls that would probably come around, but so close. The last one just finished this last weekend, and now we've already got a water grass gym. So water is getting the the MP buffs, and I'm just gonna go over a few a few mons that I think will be OP. Uh, Primal Cairo, three MP, one a sixty. With that purple, that purple is one of the best purples in the game. Um, is gonna be amazing. So if you've got a primal, definitely, definitely a great use. Um, and then Tapu Finis are going to be moving over, moving over everything. So Finis are going to be moving over everything, protecting your own entries. Three MP, nasty. Um, Toxapex could be a cool low key mon for stopping fairy types from moving over it, so you'll be able to block finnies. Um, also, grass types can't move over it, so you're going to be blocking Verzians, Decidueyes, um, uh, Shamans, all from stopping, won't be able to move over it. So it could actually be a nice little one, and if you've got them leveled up, probably on the blue or purple, they could be a pretty hard one to get past. So that's one way you can stop the rush. Um, if you're having problems with a little bit of rush. Um, now, Molotic is going to be just amazing. Just with its big blue, being able to confuse mons and at 3 MP just running down the board is going to be pretty nasty. Um, Toad, if you are running a Toxapex, Toxapex, Toad, maybe Poison Style Water, it could be interesting. You could maybe get somewhere with that um, and... And just see how you go. Maybe run uh, Phantom, Phantom Energy, Phantom Sphere. Or probably Phantom Energy. And while you're running Phantom Energy, chuck in some Gengars just to kill the step over the Poison Mons. And then maybe a Decidueye in there just so it can come in off the board. And then you can make use of the um, Z-Move, gra the Z-Move, the Grass Z-Move to cure all your mon statuses, because they're going to be, we know Z-Moves are everywhere in these gyms, especially Water Fire gyms, and I'm guessing the next one's probably going to be, um, uh, Fire Grass or something like that. So maybe we're going to have another one next week. That'd be crazy. Um, three in a row. Maybe. Don't, don't, don't hold me on that, but it could happen. Um, but another great mon, uh, Suicune at 3 MP is is quite nice. Um, with a big share cold, if you got up to level 5, level 10, it can be nice in the ice beam, can make things tricky, the, 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 the dodges. The only ones you don't really want to be hitting in this gym will be the hydro pumps. So it's not bad, but then you can also cure your statuses and curse marks and all that kind of stuff. So Suicune could be a good utility piece if you have one. Manaphy is going to be amazing. 2MP is not going to have such a such a drawback to using it. Um, and you're going to get plus 30 damage. And that's going to counteract the grasses plus 20. So if you're running a Manaphy, boom. Instant, you got the damage that all of a sudden the grasses should have had. So... That could be... Like, I'm, I'm most likely going to be running a Manaphy. Um, also, the ones are going to be good. The Swampert to Mega Swampert. The move under is... He's going to be like Mega Blaze was in the Fire Gym. Uh, Mega Swampert can move under Mons. And it's got a pretty cool pretty cool little ability there. Um, and it's that Mega Swampert gives MP to all of your, all of your um, waters. So... All of your water and ground type get plus 1 MP, maximum 3 MP, so you can make things that are like Manaphy can all of a sudden be a 3 MP, um, Toxapex and all of those other ones. So that's pretty cool. Um, Caldeo pretty much gets no buff, but Caldeo is still good. Blastoise, Mega Blastoise is definitely going to be seen a whole lot in this gym. It's going to be everywhere, it's going to be nuts. Um, so good luck with that. And if you're running a deck full of white, you got to make sure... You're gonna have enough purple in the deck, so just think about that a little bit, just a little bit. Um, Rico made a cool, had a little cool video on the UX UX Vaporeon, the last fire gym. So I want to even like Jolteon. You might we might be seeing some UX Jolteon action in this gym because it can move over water, I believe. Um, so maybe that might happen. That'd be pretty pretty interesting if it does. Um, 
Now, Empoleon has pretty much got uh, like a built-in long throw ability, but with if you're running Finnies, it's kind of like don't really need it, and its damage is just not it's just outclassed these days. So that's pretty sad. Um, Greninja gets no buff, and for Alligator, it's just not worth running. Same with Palkia, and um, Cairo, normal Cairo, Cairo if you don't have Primal. Now, one one good pick will be Wash Rotom. So Wash Rotom will allow all of your water type mons to move through other water type mons. So if you're running a water deck, if you sla slap a little Wash Rotom in there, all of a sudden, all of your mons are going to be able to move through your opponent's mons. If your opponent has a finny, you are a finny blocking each other off, suddenly your finny can move through your opponent's finny, where you wouldn't be able to normally. So that's a little interesting thing there. That's for, for those of you who are wanting, wondering, wanting, wanting, um, other good mons, maybe if you wanted to run uh, the old, like, Scralps down here, um, if you wanted to run them, they won't be 1 MP, which is nice not to have them at 1 MP, that's if you're going that, that whole poison deck style, and if you guys want to see me run a water poison, let me know in the comments below, I'll do it for you if I get enough people, if enough people say that they want to see it, I'll try and get one out for you guys. If only one or two, maybe I will... We'll see. We'll, it'll just depend on the time. But if, if if a lot of people want to see something, let me know in the comments below. That really does help, and it helps me to. Okay, okay. People want to see this, and I'll make it for you. So, yeah. So if you guys want to see something, let me know. Um, Polywill is a really cool mon. For those of you who don't know Polywill, it gets to spin the opponent segments around by two. So say if Polywill came up against another Polywill, if he rolled that forty, he would spin two time two pieces around into the miss. So you can set up key um, key matchups like if you see Verizians and Decidueyes, you'll be able to spin them around into their misses and other things like that. So if you're seeing a lot of them, Polly will can potentially be pretty good, and especially if you've got a Manaphy buffing it, mm, they're pretty cool, pretty nice. Um, and other than that, like you could try running like a Kabuto, like for for people who don't have any EX figures, um, Kabuto he can have a lot of blue, and if the opponent spins attack damage, you can respin them, so you can get some pretty cool wins and and things with them. So those would be my water picks. Um, the only other ones that you might see are these. You can get some cheesy, cheesy wins with these guys. When attacked, you can move this Pokemon back two steps without battling. Air Balloon, some of these guys attack, move it around the board, boom. Insta wins. They're going to be getting some. If you guys want to see that deck being made, you guys know what to do. Get into the comments, tell me which deck you want to see me running. If you want to see me running both decks, get me to run both decks. But you guys have to let me know. So if you want me to run a Crawdaunt deck, jump in the comments and let me know you want to see me running that and I'll make it. And Craw not uh, you can you can use either of these, Crawfish and Crawnaut, they both have the same ability, you can move them around and they gain weight, so So, if you want to see it, let me know, let me know please. Um so that's about it for the for the water. I think those are gonna be the, the best ones. Um Magic Cap all the way up to Gyarados is gonna be okay. So if you want to run that, you're welcome to. And Polyrath, one one last one. A special mention to Polyrath. His wheel, I don't think he's going to be as a runner. He's good as a suicide runner to run it up, get something confused, and expect for him not to survive. That's what he's going to be good for. Other than that, he doesn't have much blue or purple to survive, and his damage is going to be well outclassed in the gym. So let's just actually go back in there, and we will quickly look at the grass types so let's pull up these grass types right here and the grass is getting the damage buffs so people running Lurantis they can probably do with running one less Lurantis if they really wanted to or still run three if they come up against mirror matches they'll be nasty Mega Sceptile is going to be absolutely nasty um, and just the damage output that they're going to be doing as well as the the Mega Recycles is like he'll recycle his own mons um, is going to be nuts. You could potentially do. Um, I've seen a couple of cool katana decks, um, like with um, with the Lurantis and with more damage output is going to be even better. So there is potential 
there is potential for some of these mons, but I think the best ones are going to be just a straight Lurantis decks with Shaman Sky forms and a whole lot of Lurantis. But you just got to watch out for that status, There's, and the Russian status is what will get the is what will get the Lurantis decks. Um, Tapu Bulu will be nice just to stop all that the, the movements and all that kind of stuff. You can potentially. Um, run Grass Sphere with the Grass decks, and if you have all of those, you can you can uh, just stop people from like Verizon cheesing you and all that kind of stuff. Um, Decidueye I think is going to be a big key to the deck. You could even run it in a water deck, but like a Phantom Water, um, and then you can make use of the Z moves and heal your own Mons. I think that's where its best use is going to be. And it might even be use, useful to have one Grass Mon in the deck. Like like I did last gym, I'd use a Fire deck with one Water Mon, the Molotic. Um, use a Water deck and then with one Grass Mon. Just to mix things up and give you both... You can have a choice of Z-Move then. And I think that really, really helps. Um, there is one other Mon. So... One, there is one Mon, this guy, he is a Water and Grass, so if you're actually running him, he can potentially use either or Z move. And he, you do get a cho choice when you're activating him to choose which one you want to use, Grass or or Water. So you can either Confuse or Heal. So if you did want to run one of them, they've got a pretty cool ability that you can run with it too. So just just for, for some thoughts if, if you got anyone that's wanting to run these um Verizian is always great in gyms the grass not to ko a super high damage mons um super high damage output if you if you do have a lurantis um um septile to mega septile is going to be great um uh, and i don't think we're going to be seeing much more we always tend to see like some cat turns um and cacnea and cat turns just with the more spinner damage they they'll be so this guy when he's evolved in the gym he will be doing uh, 40 50 50 times spinner 60 times if he's a C level 10 so if you've got one of those potential like crazy crazy spinner right there so but spinners are spinners and you're probably going to get one or two spins every now and then, and then crazy, crazy spins. Same with um, Tangler. We could probably do like a Tangler weight deck again. 30 times spinner. That's quite all right. That's quite all right. Um, but we'll see how we'll see how we go. I think you'll probably also see some Formantis in here. Um, just for to try and people trying to pop off on the Synthesis and then get some Grass Knots on some super OP damaged Mons. Um, definitely worthwhile if, if you're struggling with some of the damage output. This is a perfect deck to get past some of that. Um, you run a Formantis, get some Grass Knots. There are a whole lot of mods with Grass Knots, like Luciduo Lu, Lu has a Grass Knot as well. Um, a lot of a lot of these Grass Mods will have a Grass Knot, so definitely potential for for a lot of these. Um, any grass gym you can potentially go for the grove on and move other under grass mons just for a bit of a sneak attack if if you can catch someone unaware um, and cacturn with the spinners will also be pretty good so if you've got a C level 10 he's going to have a 40 times spinner a couple of spins on that get an evo get a 60, 60 times spinner that'd be pretty nuts so There'll be some good picks for if you want to run any of those. Also, this one here has another grass knot. Um, Petalil. There we go. Uh, Petalil, grass knot, and sleep powder. You might be able to get away with a little bit of that. Um, as long as you have them invested in them. So, I think those are going to be the, the key ones um, that you're going to see. There'll probably be some Rowlets with Lurantis. Lurantis Rowlet, um, all the way up full Evo lines, um, but I think those will be the main ones you'll be seeing is just the Lurantis decks, maybe a Bulu, uh, you can potentially also use Bulu to stop the Finny Rushes as well, so if you are running a Grass deck, check on the tap of Bulu so Finnies can't move over you, and then you'll be pretty alright, so that's going to be one way you can help stop the rush with the Grass deck, so... Just some ideas for you guys. Um, I think those will be the main ones. And then you're always going to have mons like Zoroak that are going to be great. And even um, Krillia, Krillia Gardevoir now. You're probably always going to see a Krillia Gardevoir um, 
combination and gyms now just because they're going to stop rushes. But this is a deck that I have put together. So this is currently my gym deck. I've slapped it together and I've gone for the Finny now that I've finally got one. It feels good. Mega Blastoise, Magikarp, um, and Phoebus just for I'm going for the rush. Um, rush rush them down, take an entry point, threaten the goal. That's what I'm all about. And I've got the Wash Rotom in there so I can move over my opponent's mons if I come up against a Water Deck. And Manaphy to counteract the Grass buff um, to give me the plus 30 if they are only dealing with the, pl the main plus 20. So that is the idea. I've got a decent damage output with this. Um, and it, I've only played one game with it so far. I'll have one more. Um, and here now I've sort of get my other games out of the way and the gym is going to start tonight so by the time some of you guys are watching this it's probably already on so hopefully you guys are going to be having a good gym um, and there we go let's jump in and see how see how this works my first game went pretty well um, and we'll just have to see how this next one goes. So, And if you guys want to see me running any of those other decks that I've mentioned, whether it's being a Grass, a Crawdaunt, or a Phantom Water, um, let me know in the comments. Like I said, if I see enough comments that want me to do it, I'll try and get some, some of those videos out for you. So... This is this is the perfect this is like this is like the perfect match of where I'm gonna be at advantage with a wash rotom. So let's see. My last the last the, the other game that I did um for my other win, um I went up against like a grass deck. A grass deck with maybe one watermon and I was like, ah uh, the versus another grass deck, wash rotom is not gonna be great. Um yeah, and so that's gonna be a little bit of a hard hard part but we are going to see if we can get this rush to work and one other thing you ought to watch out for if you are running a finny if you are running a finny deck is you got to watch out for um ooh, where do I want to go does he have a hurdle jump or air balloon rocky helmet okay Okay, I see you there. That's one other thing you can run with the Magic Cups and the Phoebus as well. Run a Rocky Helmet, send them up, get them KO'd, they get the Evo, and then your opponent goes away. So, could be another very good, very good Mon to be running. Um, I am just going to jump down over here and just see what my opponent does. And now I want to get my Wash out. And now I can I can move through any of his mons. And that's the one advantage I'm going to have over my opponent. Ooh, he's attacking. He's attacking. And I get put to sleep. Rip. Uh, so that's where it would have been helpful. I should have put myself on the entry. Um, but I didn't. Rip. Um, all right, what do I want to do here? I want to see if he actually takes me out. He could go move to surround me, but if he does move to surround me, I'm going to go mega and try and just wipe his board. So we'll see what he wants to do. But I'm going to look to mega no matter what he does. Okay, definitely mega time. So let's go mega. And this is where I've got the advantage. Like how, how I was saying before about, um, about the wash rhythm, I can move through his finnies. I'm going to go for attack, looking for my blue. That's all right. And now his his finny is knocked out. He can't just get anything else out on the board at will. He can't move his primal to surround my finny. And now I'm just going to be working to get all my other mons up on the board. Um, and do I have a gold block in here? I do. So what I'm going to aim to do, I'm going to aim to take his other entry point, wake up my finny, gold block my finny, or something, something along those lines. Is I want to block his entries, and then I want to. Ooh, interesting. Um, but I'm not even worried about that, to be honest. So, one thing you've got to watch out for is that I just want to see... I want to lure him into attacking my finny or surrounding it. No. So, what I'm going to do here is gold block. I don't want to lose my finny just yet. Don't want to lose my finny. 
So I'm just going to gold block it, and then I want to take the entry point with the Wash Rotom, if I can. Depending, if he moves there, I won't be able to. If he moves down further, I can. So I'm just going to move up here. And that was definitely worth it for me. I could have potentially tried to go with the Mega Blastoise um, and wipe the board of Primal, but the only ones that have a really big wipe would be Phoebus, uh, pretty much guaranteed. And um, everything else is pretty much 50 50. Ooh. Ooh, dodge. No. There we go. Molotic coming out. And that is going to be like Rocky Helmet is definitely a plate you could use, and maybe a plate I should I should potentially use um, for this gym. So I am going to go throw out my Magic Carp right about now, and I want to max revive. I want to max revive my Wash Rotom too. It's going to attack you, and then I want to get out my Wash Rotom. Get out my Wash Rotom, try and get him on the board, get an advantage popping off, and then I want to I want to Z move soon, Z move my Phoebus in there and confuse all of these Mons is what I want to do. Ooh, do I Z move now? No. Um, so he he does have a three MP. So I shall. I'll put my Manaphy here. So Manaphy will probably just get eaten alive by Poplio. But now I am doing the plus 30 damage, so... Hydro, he's going for it. Which one, though? Ooh, this is not a great matchup for him, to be honest. Because it's not Mega Blastoise. I don't have a big, big... Uh, miss. So... What I... I want to surround it. I do. Let's just attack there and attack this. And just see what we can get. Okay. Origin Pulse. Alright. If I, if, if I got like Finny, I'll be like, no. Um, which is bound to happen as well. With that blue, with all the red, you got to be careful with that. Um, what I do want to do is I want to Max Revive. I don't have a Max Revive. I'll probably have to get rid of Long Throw for a Max Revive. Um... I'm going to... Do I want a Z move? Mm. This is the question. I will. I want a Z move. Try and take this thing out. And... Oh. Oh. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. So... Mm. Feels bad. Feels bad. Um, oh man, I'm really missing uh, Max Revive. I can't believe I don't have one in here. Uh, so now I'm going to go wake up Finny. So I can use Finny and then try and block things off is what I'm going to try and do. I should have a scoop up is what I should have. Hmm. How am I going to do that? Max Revive. He's got one. He's got one. I don't. I can't attack his Finny now, so that is a shame. Let's just go attack this again. And there we go. That's what we're wanting. Oh, no. No, I don't die because it's got the waterfall. And that's going to be one thing about running just a straight Phoebus instead of running um, Molotic. Is that you're going to get the positions where you're not going to be wanting to roll waterfall. Um, because you won't be dying. And he can take my entries, so that's that's fine. I am going to just defend here for a little bit. Just so um, I can attack into this Origin Pulsar. Um, and not worry about my Finny. Ooh. Oh man, all I needed, if I roll my purple into his white. Mm. That's interesting. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have picked that, is all I want to say. I want to just move my Finny on my... <sighs> Phoebus, I'm terrible with the names today, guys. Absolutely terrible, shocking. Wow, okay, interesting. Purple. Oh, that's actually, like, 
low key Poplio Z move. Mm. Pretty good. Pretty good there. Um, low key good is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna just pop on over here, and I need to. This is a difficult part, is that. I can't now attack into his Primal Kai Rogue, or else I'm going to risk benching my Manaphy. Mm. Double chance, going to go for it. Gold and he wins. Ooh, Manaphy, there we go. Going to work. Um, I'm going to Z move now there, and we're going to go back after this. Just going to try and get rid of it. Looking for his miss. No. But at least I get mine. Yes, please. And he gets confused. So that is a bonus for me. And now I need to try and cycle out my wash rotum. Um and I can freely now, now that Poplio has gone, um, I can freely Ooh, I was going to say I can freely attack, but now I can't because he's gone and put his Molotic down here. So, I am just going to go move over here. I'm going to see if he attacks me. Uh, I shouldn't have done that, actually. I should have bought my X-Speed. Good play. Good play. All I can do is hope he rolls white into purple. Or purple into mist. Oof. So I'm going to be a dodge machine. 50% of my wheel is going to be dodge. Um, I'm not going to be rolling to purple very much. But. Hmm. I've got to think about a better way to get around this. Since my. I want to attack. But if I attack. When. Oh here we go. Uh, spins on the field. If they spin. Including a miss. They are knocked out. If it spins a blue attack. They get benched. So. A confused Manaphy. Since the origin pulls is so good. If you run. If I roll this with Manaphy now. Manaphy is white. 50% of his. Over 50% of his wheel. Is going to roll into the blue. So I can't attack into. I can't attack into. Primal. Which is sad. Unless. I go like this. Try and roll a blue. Confuse it. And then. With, with it confused. Then I can freely attack into it. And I've got to go that way. So. All I need to do now. Blue again please. Here we go. Alright. And now. I want to start attacking with Blastoise. And looking for him to roll into his miss. Purple into miss is what I want. No. I'm just going to. This is going to be a, like a long. like Blastoise. 50% chance. This uh, is gonna be it's gonna be nuts. It's gonna be nuts. The battle of the confused mons. Whoever's mon gets confused and actually can roll an attack because he's got fifty percent less than fifty percent chance of an attack. I've got fifty percent chance of an attack. He should be using his Z move at some stage, um, because my miss is gonna my dodge is gonna become a miss. I'm gonna have like a fifty percent real miss. Oh man, the miss, the miss. That was my chance. That was my chance. Does he have the. He does have both forms, so he may actually de evolve too. Here we go. He's going for it. He 50% chance that he may get this. And it's the risk I was willing to make. And it didn't pay off for me. It didn't pay off for me. Ouch. And I've already bit my double, my, my, my plates, so. Rip. Let's let's do this and now because he got a Z move before me. He was able to do it before me, and even he he'll probably de evolve here anyway, and get that. So, ouch! Watch out for those. I've got to adjust my plates. I didn't. I changed my mons. I didn't really adjust my plates properly. So Rocky helmet's got to go in there. Got to get rid of a long throw. Put in a max revive. That would have changed things up drastically. So, this definitely does have potential. Let me know what you guys think. I've got other things I need to go and do. So hear from you guys in the comments below. And hopefully. Uh, if you're Also if you're worrying about other counters for all these mons in the gym. Um, the best counters. Counter gym mons. The ones mons that can be used any gym at all. 
um, you're going to be looking at Zoroark, uh, Krillia, uh, Vibrava, um, all of these mons. Let's just jump in here quickly. So we are going to be looking at uh, Zoro for his for his spinning and uh, cross counter. So cross counter is going to be always a super super good. Um, Toxapex, if you're wanting something that can block the the grass moving, rushing you, the the finnies rushing you. Um, uh, also, you're going to want uh, Krillia Gardevoir. Krillia Gardevoir are going to be stopping the movements. And Vibrava just to slow things down if you want to slow things down. And then, if you're running those, I think you should be pretty good. I'm sure there's probably going to be some fractures in the gym. Um, probably won't see Agron anymore. Um, you used to see Agron, but just the damage, the damage output that is going to be around is uh, he's going to get well out damaged. Um, but the heavy slam is really, really good in the gym. So if you guys want to see me run like a counter gym match with using mons that don't have gym buffs, Garvors, um, Agrons, Zorax, all these other mons just to counter what's in the gym. If you guys want to see if I can do that. Let me know in the comments below. So any of those decks that I've mentioned, I want to see you guys in the comments. Let me know what you guys are running. And I can't wait to get into this gym and see how it goes. So until next time, we'll see you guys then.